8 million Pascal of pressure or 80 bars. That can be pretty dangerous. I just took this footage to show you uh, how that looks like and uh, it can look much different if a propane or butane tank filled with hydrogen cracks. Today I'm gonna talk about why should we put hydrogen in gas tanks, about materials and hydrogen embrittlement, about a little bit thermodynamics, pressure and temperature, how to make hydrogen. The last chapter will be an outlook. I show you some applications like a gas cooker, a hydrogen barbecue, hydrogen generator and a big combined heat and power station. Why should we use hydrogen in propane tanks? It's just because they are available. I got mine for free. But this slide is part of a technical drawing for a special cylinder made for hydrogen. And that, of course, gets expensive. But we can learn from this technical drawing. So this was certified for 300 bars. But here also we have the burst pressure that is 480 bar, which can be a rule of some 1.5 times the certified pressure is the burst pressure. And then about hydrogen embrittlement, because if we think about hydrogen as a smallest molecule and there's a tiny little crack, cranny, crevice, however you would call it in the metal crystal structure, hydrogen will just put into. And as you know, pressure is always perpendicular to the surface. It would also be perpendicular to the crack and maybe enlarge this crack until the bottle bursts. Austenitic steels, rusting steels are better for hydrogen. But anyway, this is a certified hydrogen bottle and it's made of 34 chrome molybdene 4 and it has the impurities of sulfur, phosphor and so on of 0.0%. .0 here you see that hydrogen and CNG cylinders are made of exactly the same material. The other thing is pressure and temperature. So if let's say we fill the bottle at temperature one of 10 degrees and the temperature rises to 20 degrees, what happens with the pressure? Yes, it doubles. Pressure two will be 20 bars. So keep your bottle cool. That's about the theory. Let's get going. Let's get some entertainment fo footage. The pressure is mostly written on the bottle. This is a butane bottle. And as you see here, you can fill it up to 30 bar. That has just to do with the evaporation pressure of these uh, gases. And uh, for butane, the ev evaporation pressure is about two bars or something. So like here, this LNG tank contains about five cubic meters. It is uh, in a temperature range of 20 to 40 degrees. It's from 2007. You can think about minimum thousand cycles. That means thousand times you can discharge this to one bar and recharge it to 15 bar. You can have 3000 cycles and more if you discharge less than 100%. But uh, just take the rule of thumb. If your container has more than 1000 cycles, it's very old, uh, don't use it. Of course, the lower the pressure is, the bigger the, this cylinder has to be. This is about 10 meters long and is only a 10 bar a pressure tank. That's the way I make the hydrogen. On. This is just the circulation pump. On to the ionized water in. Yeah, it's just filtered. It to it's tap water. 61 Celsius. You can also cold start it if you want. I'll put on. But then you will have a oxygen. very little Ambridge. coming out of the electrolyzer which is underneath this blanket then increase the amperage 
and wait a little. I spare you that four minutes and accelerate by 25 times. So this uh, runs at 495 watts. Then compress this few minutes worth of excess solar energy and you have 120 liters of hydrogen. Go via this cable into this bottle. And this bottle is actually what we see here, just with a pressure uh, regulator. I open this valve before I really tighten the, the end of the tube because I want uh, hydrogen to evaporate. This is the set screw. I can uh, set the secondary pressure and I do it uh, up to 10 bars. Then I tightened um, this connection, just I'm okay with a little leakage before that, and then I open the butane tank. And you just do that until uh, the moist disappears. And then close all the valves again. And now I'm going to show you how I use it. It's very easy. I have a, a gas stove. Here is a lighter. I just try to make the flame visible. I don't know what uh, was going on on this day, but I couldn't see the flame. Uh, then I put a pot with water on. And uh, make it cook. I use this flashback valve for low pressure application. I have another one for high pressure applications. So these are the pressure reducers you find in the applications. Here we have a catalytic heater. I will make a video on that. So if you are interested in that, subscribe. Uh, this is an interesting pressure regulator. You can put it directly on a butane bottle and then uh, set the pressure up to four bar. And these uh, run around 250 millibars, which is uh, somewhere around there, but the volumetric energy density of hydrogen is less. So you can increase the pressure, thus the volume going through. And so you can have a similar wattage, for instance, to run a generator. Or if you are on a bigger scale, uh, we can make a video on a combined heat and power station, which runs on a mixture of hydrogen and natural gas. It has just been modified and censored. You're so awesome. That has just been an eight minute video and you watch until the end. Thank you very much for watching.